Hello beautiful people, in this video I will tell you what is a Vim editor, how to use it and why to use it. Okay, so firstly, what is a Vim editor? Okay, so Vim editor is just like any editor, like you are using Sublime Text Editor or Atom or any other editor in your system like Notepad is available. Okay, so it's nothing different from any other text editor, but there are some benefits of using Vim editor okay so the first and the main thing is the efficiency of uh, editor okay so Vim editor is very efficient in compared to any other text editor and the second thing is it focuses on using keyboard rather than using the mouse okay so if you are using a Vim editor you will do the whole work through your keyboard you don't have to touch your mouse or anything okay so it's all about keyboard and it will improve your CLI skills and maybe you can say typing skills too okay so let's discuss how we can use it okay so let's get into my screen and see how we are gonna use it okay so let's start so I'm in my terminal now and if you want to install Vim editor you can do is DNF install Vim if you are using Fedora machine and if you are on Ubuntu or any other Debian based system then you can use apt get and if you are on rel 8 lesser than 8 version or CentOS then you can use yum and yeah so I'm in Fedora so I will use is dnf install vim okay so yeah, you can use sudo for that. Okay, after running this command, it will install Vim editor in your system. Okay, so after installing that, you can use, you can start using Vim editor. Okay. So my package Vim was already installed so there is nothing to do and if you haven't installed it you can use it with this command or it depend on your system too. Okay. Next thing is how you can create a file using Vim editor. Okay. It's all uh, CLI based so we have to use a command. So for that just type Vim that I want to use Vim editor as my text editor for creating a file and just type the file name that you want to create. Let's say I want to create hello world.py. Okay. So using Vim editor, you can create any type of file. Okay. So I want to create a Python file. Okay. Now let's understand what it is. Okay. If I want to use mouse, I I am not able to use that okay it's all the keyboard that we are going to use in vim editor so how you can use that okay so if you see here you can see the file name here down at the bottom okay and if i want to you know if i want to type something i really can't type anything for now okay so if i am typing something and i am not able to type anything so what is this how i can type in this editor okay it's not gonna work so how can i start using it so in vim editor there are three types of mode the number one is the command mode and the second one is the insert mode third one is the execution mode okay the first thing that when you enter the command vim or any vim space any file name you will be in the command mode by default okay and you can't type anything okay so to go to the insert mode what you have to do is just press i okay and now that you see that at the bottom there is insert that means you are in the insert mode right now okay so now you can type anything like i want to print hello world this is bash woman 
Okay. Yeah, that's it. This is the first command in Python, uh, first program in Python. Okay. So, yeah. Now, I have created my file, but after creating a file, what we do is we save the file and we run the file. So, how we are going to do that? So, we are in our insert board. We can't do anything right now. So, to uh, go back to the command mode, what we have to do is press escape. And now, you can see the insert is gone now. Okay. So, now you are in the command mode again. Okay. So, if I want to again go back to insert mode, I will just press I. And if I go to the, if I want to go to the command mode, I will just press escape. So, that is it. These are two main things in Vim editor. Okay. I want to save the file and quit from Vim editor. Okay. So, what we are going to do? So, the final thing is we have to insert a command. We have to give a command to the Vim editor that now I have done my work. Now, I want to save the file okay, and quit from Vim editor. So, how you can do that? Just you have already pressed escape. Now, just type colon that is colon w for saving and q for quitting okay when you press w q that means you are quitting and saving the file at the same time okay and then just print press enter okay your file using vim editor is saved now but if you want to check that file if it's right or wrong then how you can do that you can just use cat command to print the file contents okay and there it is i just write that print hello world this is bash woman okay so that was the content in my file hello world.py now i want to run this file okay so in command line what we have all the commands okay so next thing is i want to run a python file okay so how to run a python file in linux okay so that's a benefit for you in this video okay so just type python okay so we can check the python version using this command python hyphen hyphen version and we have the latest stable version of python that is python 3.9.0 okay so now i want to run the file hello world.py how can i use that how can i do that so just type python 3 and space hello world.py that's it and the output is displayed on your terminal okay that was it okay Okay, so, so this was just a basic introduction of Vim editor, how you can use, start using that. And there are a few commands in Vim editor that you can use. I will, I will just drop a link in the description box that what commands are used and how you can use that. Okay, so that's it. And just try it and you will love using vim and it can be difficult for you at the start but it's really interesting and you will just want to use vim editor everywhere okay so that was it okay so now that we know how to use vim and let's discuss why to use it okay so num number one thing is it's free and open source so yeah open source community is there to help you number two is it's available on all the systems okay if you are on linux uh, you are if you are a ubuntu user or a debian user you can install it with apt get install vim and if you are on rail or centos you can use yum install vim and if you are on fedora or rail 8 so you can use dnf install vim okay so that's pretty easy for the installation okay so the next thing is it's available for all the file formats like if you want to use 
python if you want to make a python file you, you can just name the file as hello world.py and if you want to make a javascript file you can use the extension of javascript if you want to make a java file use that extension so it's available for all file formats and you don't have to install any other third party software to use that okay so it's just the whole package for every language okay and it's the most used editor in linux systems so if you are a linux user i guess you already are using vim editor and you just love it don't you okay so i just love using vim and it's yeah yeah it's pretty easy too okay and finally using a vim editor is fun okay so you can't deny that if you are using it right now thank you for watching this video and if you have learned something make sure to subscribe to my channel like this video share comment and yeah just keep learning